be a wheat penny so the wheats are the beginning to hope of some other great things so it looks like it's a 1940 sweet we're on the board hopefully there's more and hopefully we can get back in the 1800s all right guys charles got a target let's check it out together all right bro down in yonder oh you can see the part of it here he'll get out of the light All right, Charles, let's see it, buddy. What's it gonna be? Merc. Is it a Merc? Mercury Dime, baby. Is there a date? It's got, it's in excellent condition, bro. It's in excellent condition. Let's see if I can see a date on it. 1940s. It's a 40s Merc. Could be a 42 over one. Those are worth like 250 bucks. But nice find, bro. Boom. It looks like it might be part of a spill. Oh, right there. Oh, just nail. a nail. The old rusty nail trick again. Rusty nail. All right, guys, got another target here. Um, went down in. Wasn't deep, only about four inches deep. And looks like we got a wheat, another wheat, beautiful condition. And looks like it is a 1913S. 1913S, sweet old wheat, baby, yeah. All right, guys, super deep target here. Popped it up right in here another wheat penny 1933 I don't know if I have that one in my collection sweet all right guys Charles got another target uh, I think he gave the goo goo ga ga baby signal oh right there in the plug dude yes Looks like there's an arrow on it. Oh, let's see it, Charles. Grab her. It's silver. Is it silver? It looks silver. It's silver. Nice find, dude. It's got an arrow. It's probably, it might be native. Sweet. Nice find, bro. All right, guys, we've worked our way in the backyard here. You know, most of the time, it's in the front, but um, property owner told us there was a lot of activity back here. Um, got Charles just right over there. Um, got a target here. And this, it says 3, 3J, and it says one, one dram, not a gram, a dram. We'll research it and we'll let you guys know what it is. Sweet. All right, guys, we've moved on a few more houses. We got on a sweet one. Uh, I think he said 18, uh, late 1870s, early 1880s. Sweet looking house. Charles just gave the, the silver signal. Let's check it out. How deep? Oh, right there in the plug. <gasps> Oh, looks like, I don't know, is it a rosy? It's a rosy. It's a rosy, but still silver, baby. 51. Boom, baby. Silver. It's here. 
All right, guys, got a target here. Um, it looked like a piece of garbage, but all of a sudden I saw a beautiful little uh, gem in here. It looks like a purple stone in a silver ring, but there's nothing left of the, the band of the ring. But you can see right there. Purple. Sweet! We'll figure out what's going on with it and we'll let you guys know. All right, guys. Charles has got another target. He says it's got the silver mark on it. Let's check it out. Nice, dude. Oh, yes. It says BH trademark. It's a little shield. And it says Sterling. It says something New York on it. So we find. Okay. No way. No. That's not a... Dude, came over here, totally bottom feeded off of Charles. Uh, checked out his target, filmed him, but then my detector went off. Great high tone, hit like a 27 on the Knox. Started digging in. I'll get it's it. frozen. And sure enough, a trade token. Woohoo! Don't want to get the neighbors. Uh... Sweet, dude. Ogden. This is good. It says wondering. Ogden on it. Yep, Ogden, Utah. Oh my gosh, Sweet. it's a one, two, it's an eight scallop. And it says Ogden, Utah on it. And it says good for one drink on the yep. back. Yep. Woohoo! Oh, yes! Silver, or not silver, a trade token. <laughs> the silver's eluded me today, but this makes up for it. Woohoo! Sweet. All right, guys, welcome to the wrap up video. It was one of those days where it literally came down to the last plug. Um, this is uh, the clad coins uh, that we got today, um, along with all the, the trash. I, I recycle all the metal that I find. Um, got a couple of zinc buttons, and these can date back into the 1800s for sure. And got, this is a, a pharmacist's um, weight from like the 1800s, you know, 1850s to, to about 1900. And it is a one dram is the measurement. And pharmacists would, would use that when they were um, weighing out uh, the ingredients for their prescriptions. And we got a uh, wheat penny here. It's a 52D. A 44S. There's a 38S. That's, that's a good looking coin. This is the sweet one right here. 1913s that is a semi key date coin they only made about six million and this it's worth about ten dollars alrighty now for the saloon token um, this token it uh, it's the Little Puck Saloon, 151 25th Street, Ogden, Utah. Good for one drink or cigar. I had this uh, token professionally restored. And I have pictures of it before it was um, restored. And we'll get those up for you. And to tell you a little bit, about, I did a little research on it and found out that the token dates from um, 1900 till 1903. Um, that's when the Little Puck Saloon was open. It opened on December 22nd uh, of 1900. 
Um, and there's another article I found um, searching through the old newspapers online. And it says, uh, George Woods, proprietor of the Little Puck Saloon, will be sentenced this afternoon at 4 o'clock for selling liquor on Sunday. So the owner of the Little Puck Saloon, who had this trade token, he was uh, sentenced on a certain date for, for selling alcohol on Sunday. And then the last little article I found online, the old newspaper article, was um, in uh, on June 29th. 1903, um, the Little Puck Saloon on 25th Street, and hereafter, that place will be known as the Walnut. So that's when it changed names in uh, on June 29th of 1903. So it was only open about two and a half years. And this is an unknown trade token. It's, it's unlisted. It, it was not known until... I found this one. So, pretty sweet one of one known saloon token from 25th Street in Ogden. If any you know anything about 25th Street in Ogden, that was the the rough street in Ogden. That was where the saloons and uh, gambling and brothels, all that stuff was was on 25th Street. So. These these tokens are definitely sought after. A beautiful eight scallop token. Um, super happy to have it. Good for one drink or cigar. Sweet guys. Well, I really uh, appreciate y'all watching the video. And till next time, guys. Happy hunting. <laughs>